Welcome to our first Blender Octane tutorial and today we are going to explore how to create fractals with uh, our packs. Uh, we did two fractal pack. Uh, it's a collection of uh, scripts and different scene files. But if you want, you can also use uh, our sample scene file for Blender. So um, first you need, uh, of course, to install Octane Blender Edition and uh, Octane Server. There's all the instructions here. And after you did that, uh, go in the Edit Preference and Add-ons and just enable the Octane plugin. So just be sure that this is uh, checked. And after that, you need to click on this little viewport shading icon and switch to your render engine to Octane. So this is actually the Octane viewport in almost real time feedback. And now we need to create our Vectron object. So just click on the corner here and create a new view and set that to shader editor so we can see all our node and type F3 and Vectron. So we have our Vectron node here. Now, of course, we need to um, plug in some scripts and this time I'm going to use a script from our pack number two, which is really cool. You have the Mandelbrot set in 3D. You have really interesting shapes like this one. And this time I'm going to use um, really a simple fractal. So just to show you how to the, the workflow in Blender. I want to use the Uber bulb formula. So to do that, you can just click on the folder icon and load Uber bulb. So it's still invisible to our Octane viewport, but uh, because we need to assign our Vectron object to the material here. So to do that, you can just click on the data properties icon. And in the bottom here, there's a node graph. Set that to a material, which is this one. And the Octane Geo must be our Vectron node. And voila, we have our nice uh, Uber Mandelbub fractal. It's called Uber because we have added many different parameters. And this is kind of slow. Um, so we can change in the kernel, uh, Octane kernel settings, we can change the, where is that? The kernel type, you can use a uh, info channel with normals. So this is more real time and you can understand the shape um, of the fractal way better and then just switch to uh, direct light kernel for the final render. Also what we can do here, uh, we can change the number of samples or um, change the ray epsilon so we have more or less detail. And I like to set that to 0 0.001 so it's faster and we can just um, decrease that so we have more detail for the final render. Now I want to show you how to um, create and assign a material on this fractal. So to do that, we don't need this for now. So we can just delete this white material 
and I will need a um, octane mix material so mix uh, mix material like this one plug that in in the surface and now I want to create two different materials so the fractal um, sorry the colors and the materials will follow uh, the fractal pattern and it's like a UV mapping for fractals so to do that you can you have to create to diffuse material nothing too complicated so octane shader and this one is going to be red and let's create another one and this one must be uh, blue so the difference will be visible and you can plug that to our mix material and of course now it's this uh, purple pink color because the amount is set to 0.5 if you set the amount to 1 you will see the first material and if you set that to 0 you are going to see the red material and the trick is exactly here so we need a way to uh, drive our iteration over the uh, amount here so we can create a OSL texture and plug that in in the amount click external open the folder and in formulas here there's our gradient script which of course is included in our packs and as you can see we have now the material number one only on some parts of the fractal and the material number two on other parts of course you can plug in any material you want uh, like a wood material or metallic or whatever you want to do um, I'm going to make a very simple example so uh, let's put the, the red one to uh, white and more white all right and we don't need the blue one because I want to create a really simple gold material to do that we need a metallic octane metal material is called plug that into material number one and as you can see we have some reflections on some parts of the fractal and let's say we want to make that reflection to be uh, gold so to do that just we need uh, just an RGB spectrum and the color should be something uh, like that for the gold just plug that in in the specular and we have our nice uh, mandelbulb made of made out of gold and some very simple ceramic you can plug that in also in the specular map and that's pretty much it so this is really easy and you can of course change uh, some more parameters here in our Vectron formula like the power and the colors will always stick to the fractal you can also change how uh, the colors are mapped to the fractal in the options here so you can change the mode oops we are inside and you can change the scale that's basically a UV mapping based on iteration number and yeah that's pretty much it so it's not that difficult and uh, 
let's do one more thing just to show you so let's delete this material because i want to create a, a glossy black material on the white part here so again uh, glossy octane glossy material set the diffuse to black and plug that in in the second material and let's pump the roughness and also i want some more uh, contrast so to do that we can just decrease the u scale and as you can see we have a black shader only on some parts of the fractal we can also make it more black that's it or white again purple I'm just random, randomly clicking around and of course you can um, change the different modes in our vector object here change I don't know you can make it loop just by keyframing the loop parameter here enable the Julia mode uh, which is a really cool mode if you know fractals and for instance now we are uh, we don't see many details here and that's because you have to change the ray epsilon so just decrease that and you will see that now there's way more details but of course it's uh, slower because it take, takes more time to calculate the ambient occlusion and everything else but that's pretty much it so hope uh, everything was clear and that's it and again if you want um, you can just download one of these uh, packs we did or just try uh, the sample scene file here for blender which is free of course for with octane and just try it why not